Welcome to the Dog Nerd Show, where we geek out over our best friends. I'm Megan. And I'm Michael, and this is a show about all things dog. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. Today, we are talking about the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. And this episode is brought to you by the Riley Carson book series. Riley Carson is a series that is for middle grade, nine and up, but for dog lovers of all ages. And it is like Nancy Drew meets Animal Rescue. You can find more at RileyCarsonSeries.com and you can even sign up for my email list to get a free novelette prequel. Ooh, free. I like that. Yeah. So, uh, guys, you know, if you're listening to us on the podcast, uh, please feel free to, you know, give us a review. Uh, it really helps us out a lot on that platform. Also, uh, if you're watching this here on YouTube, uh, you know, drop drop a message down below. Drop a you know a comment comment down below. We we read them all. We we try to communicate with all of them. And then the number one thing we would love for you to do is give us a thumbs up. And then after you've done that, you've already done that. You so can my, do that now. Like if you yeah, like us and you you know exactly and think after, we're kind of nice people, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, and and then when you're done, when you're there, you're I mean you're right next to it. Just go <laughs> over there and hit the thing that says subscribe. And then there's a bell, and then once you subscribe and you hit that bell, it'll let you know every time that we have a new video. Yeah, and uh, so clicking that bell will also notify you when we have a live that we do. And then if you guys missed it, we had a really fun dog trivia live where one of our viewers participated, and that was really fun. Yeah. And that person ended up winning <laughs> the dog nerd trivia. So. Actually, they're... they're uh, their border collie one. Yes, let's be let's be real. We know there was help from the border collie, one of the smartest breeds of all. So um, let's talk about the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. So um, in terms of history, not a super ton. Um, essentially, this dog was um, a breed. So gamblers in England in uh, you know the eighteen hundreds and prior. I'm sure bred bulldogs for blood sport in England. So we're going to be mm. real about where these came from. And that's, you know, gambling. Oh, yo, yo, people. Um, I'm not going to go on my soapbox here, but that's where the breed was developed. And then in the, um, in 1835, that was outlawed. Well, we all know that it just went underground, right? Right. Unfortunately, dog fighting continues today across the world. It's an evil, awful sport. Um, in the 1880s, the breed was brought to America, and um, fanciers here actually made it a little bit bigger. They made a heavier version, which is the American Staffordshire Terrier. So it gets confusing because there's the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, the American Staffordshire Terrier, the Bull Terrier. There's 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 a lot in this mm -hmm. this group. Um, but the good thing that I'm going to say is that. Great breeders have transformed this breed from what was once a fighting dog to a mild and playful dog. And we have to keep doing that. Still to this day, people are taking bull type dogs and they're breeding them for bad things, which is just unconscionable. Mm -hmm. But this particular breed, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, is a really mild, playful, fun loving dog loves kids and when you see scott and his staffy peaches you'll know why so without further ado let's meet scott and peaches all right we are here with scott and peaches the staffordshire bull terrier yes so oh hello peaches you are beautiful you are beautiful so tell us a little bit about this breed um well, they're very friendly. They're called the nanny dog because they're so good with uh, kids and they're friendly with everybody. They enjoy other pets. They enjoy um, hum um, not humans, but uh, adults, kids, anything. They're, they're uh, muscular built. They're, a lot of people call them you know, a pit bull breed, but they're so far from that. Um, they have the same reputation as a pit bull dog, but they're so misconstrued. They are the most gentle, loving dog there is. Um, hence the name nanny dog. Yeah. They're they're actually used a lot of times to uh, babysit kids. So um, they're very friendly. They 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 love water. Mine do anyways. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, they they have a great at a great reputation, great attitude. So um, yeah. That's so when people say pit bull, 
Because she probably gets mistaken for one. Yesterday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the difference? Like um, so. These actually were bred way back for confirmation, mm -hmm. for looks. Pit Bulldogs back in the day were bred for just one thing, performance. Mm -hmm. And so there's a definite difference in the look, but based on their head shape and their muscular build, they're labeled as Pit Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. And you can, a lot of people's gonna call a Pit Bulldog, whether it's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier, or uh, an American Bulldog, or pretty much any Bulldog cross. Yeah. If it looks like a Bulldog, the, the media and society is going to call it a Pit Bulldog. Yep. These dogs, what really differentiates them is they do not have the attitude of a Pit Bulldog. Yeah. Um, any dog that comes here, she's going to jump up and she's going to love to play. Whereas a pit bulldog, if it's you know raised improperly, the first mentality it's got is is to attack. Yeah. And uh, so m most bulldog types are um, very misunderstood. Yes. Um, I've had multiple bulldogs and bulldog types, and I've even had pit bulldogs. Um, I've never owned a pit bulldog that would bite anybody, yeah. but they are super aggressive toward any other animal, really anything that moves. Um, these dogs are not. They are they are love first, and really, <laughs> I don't I don't think I've ever seen any of them fight. Now they will, I'm sure, yeah. if if you know another dog you know pr Instigate. provokes it and instigates it right. But their 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 first mentality is to love That's and awesome. play, and so that that is really the main big difference in just. Uh, attitude. Do you find that people are afraid of her because of the way she looks? Um, no. Um, but I'm at a dog show, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> most people here, you know, they first come up and rub them and all. But when I'm out and about, like um, you know, in a pet store or wherever I go, tractor supply, um, her particular personality um, is so giggly and, and bubbly that. You know, there is no there is no afraid yeah. uh, mentality from people. But I have had one that that was not like this, and you know they would always ask first. But I've never, uh, I've any. Let me put it to you this way: anybody that knows dogs, they're not. Yeah. But people who are not dog people, yes, they immediately look at them and go, "Oh, that's a bulldog." You know, will it will it bite? You know, keep my dogs away. Yeah. And you know, we've had people in hotel rooms where we were, you know, coming across this way, and if they see her walking uh, and on a leash, they turn and run the other way and go around the corner. And and so, they do have that that um, reputation yeah. and and unfortunately because they're some of the greatest dogs I've ever had. Yeah so. that's that's what I hear from yes. even people that have mixes of you know, these types of dogs that they're just wonderful yes and like you know like you said earlier it's how they're raised yeah you know yep. I mean and yep. she's got a wonderful personality yep. um, does that short coat shed? Um, well all dogs shed yeah. but but it's not profusely yeah. like um, you're not going to have to vacuum up every day, all day. Yeah. Uh, they will shed, but it's not a lot. The yeah. short coat keeps them from doing that. And I also keep them in the house, yeah. so that helps out a lot as well. They don't tend to be exposed to all the elements you know, outside, so they tend to not shed quite as much. But even if they're outside, um, the shedding is limited, yeah. so it's, that, that's a good thing. That is. Uh, are they big barkers? Whenever I get excited, yeah. like if I have a ball, and, and, and I'm on the other side of the fence and she sees me playing, she's just gonna go crazy trying to get to the ball. But normally they're not barkers. They're, okay. they're very, very quiet. Now, when they get excited, like I said, they get excited and, and they'll, they'll bark. And it really ain't a really deep, you know, aggressive bark. It's more, let me play, let me play. Yeah. And so they, they, can, they will bark some, but they're not barkers. Okay. No. So. And um, are they pretty smart and easy to train? Yes. Very, very. A um, couple of reasons, I think, um, is because they love people so much, their, their job and their aim is to please. So they tend to be very easy to train because they want to please their owners. Um, and then and naturally, they're just naturally smart dogs, um, so they're very easy to train. Um, I have her daddy, and her and her daddy both, the minute I put a leash on them, it, it's there was no training it was like they were they just understood it wow. so um and and just a little bit of bait or a little bit of toy most most dog uh most show people use bait mm -hmm. i use a ball i don't i don't even use bait i yeah. use a ball because yeah. she loves it so much and you know our job is to get them to look the best they can yeah. with whatever means so i use a ball yeah. um 
So they're the, yes, they're very easy to train because they aim to please. Yeah. Yes. That's why I hear that pit bulls are used for fighting because they will do what their humans ask them to do, which is yes. so sad, you yes. know. Yes. Um, you've got the most beautiful smile, Peaches. And that's that's one of the things that that people uh, notice about staffies is that when they look at you, they look like they are smiling. Yes. So that's what everybody says. Oh, you're smiling. You're smiling. So, <laughs> but yeah, I, just yesterday, um, I was standing and getting a picture of her. Um, yesterday, we won. Winner's female and best of uh, opposite and owner hand or best of breed. So I was in there to get a picture and I heard a lady behind me said, now that's a pit bull, right? So I had to turn around just because I, <laughs> I had to turn around and say, no, it's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. <laughs> Complete different. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. But yes. Um, do they have any health concerns that we should know about? Um, generally, they're pretty healthy. Okay. Um, th now, er every dog has breed specific genetic issues. Um, we do L2, HGA, and um, what is called HC, which is hereditary cataracts. Mm. Um, a lot of people will, will look at the hips and whatnot, but breed specific uh, diseases or genetic diseases for them is, is those two I just mentioned. Mm. But for the most part, they're very healthy. That's they're very, great. very resilient. They have a lifespan of about 12 years. So they tend to be and stay very healthy. Yep. Most people have them, <laughs> some people that have them rather, uh, wish they hurry up and die before they are ready for them to go because they live so long. And um, I have a friend in Florida that has them and her puppy, her dog just died and it was 17. So yeah. they have a long lifespan, yeah. so they tend to be very healthy. You, yeah. you, can, you, you can only be healthy if you have a long lifespan. So. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Um, and would this be a good pet or good dog for a first time dog owner um yes it but it is a terrier yes. and terriers always have that innate drive um but they're not very hard to train so a first time owner uh, I, I've, I've sold you know several dogs to first time owner staffies and be honest with you most of those people call me back mm -hmm. um so they're very good for first time owners but the the first time owners need to do a little research and understand the type of of dog not really staffordshire bull terriers but terriers in general yes. and uh you know jack russell's and parson russell's all dogs have a super drive so yes. but first time owners they're fine with awesome. yep yep awesome anything else we should know about the breed uh, no, no. Um, I think everybody should have one. <laughs> yep. Peaches. Oh, wow. I mean, the wiggle. Uh, she was, so she was sweet. so, so energetic, so happy. Yeah. You so friendly. Yeah. Very friendly. Very happy. What a wonderful little girl she is there. She just, just a lot of wiggle in that muscular body of hers. <laughs> yeah. Great interview too. And a lot of information that, that I'm sure a lot of you didn't know, or maybe you did know, but. Yeah, I just, what a sweet, sweet little Peaches. I love her name too. All right, so if you would like to follow us on social media, you can find us everywhere at Dog Nerd Show. Drop us a line, dognerdshow at gmail.com. If you would be like to interview about your breed or have another topic to discuss, we always love your comments. If you love our content, it really helps when you interact with us, so we really appreciate it. And uh, I think that's all I've got. Yep, until next time, folks. Bye. Bye. Bye.